Hi, it's me, Juan Camilo, and thank you very much. One more week for reading our story time together. Today we have a special guest, and is Zara Zilberman, and she's going to read a story with us. Yes, uh, she loves reading books aloud like me. So here we go, and here we are with these beautiful stories. Thank you, Zara, for accepting the invitation and reading with us and the kids, all right? Thank you very much, and here we go for the story. I'm Sarah Silverman, and today I'm going to read A Tale of Two Beasts, written and illustrated by Fiona Robertson. I was walking home from Grandma's house through the deep, dark woods when I spied a strange little beast. Wow. Feet, 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 feet. Look at that little beast. He was stuck up a tree and whining sadly, so I decided to rescue him. Feet. I will call you Fang, I told him. And I wrapped him warmly up in my scarf and carried him safely home. Oh, so sweet. I gave him a lovely bath Good. and a gorgeous new hat and sweater and a delicious bowl of fresh nuts. A new bed. I made him a beautiful house and gave him Lord Rex to play with. Beautiful house. Lord Rex is her stuffed uh, stuffed lion, it looks like. Oh, okay. I took him out for lots of long walkies to keep him fit and healthy. Uh. And I showed him off to all of my friends who loved him nearly as much as I did. Mm, amazing! Awesome! He's so cute! He's so cute! But for some strange reason, the little beast did not look very happy. In fact, he was looking rather hot. <gasps> he was I hope he's not sick, I thought. And I opened a window to cool him down. But then something terrible happened. What happened? He threw off his clothes leapt out of the window and ran away as fast as he could back to the deep dark woods. Wow. Fang! Feep, 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 feep. I wanted to go look for him, but Mama had other plans. Dinner time! Ugh. Bath time! Ugh. Oh. Bed time! I couldn't sleep. I missed the little beast, and I wondered if I'd ever see him again. Oh, but then, a small furry shadow appeared at the foot of my bed. The strange little beast had returned. He seemed quite pleased to see me, and I began to think that maybe, just maybe, he wasn't that strange after all. Oh, beautiful. Wait a minute, what? I wonder why he came back. A Tale of Two Beasts, Part Two, The Terrible Beast. Wow. Tra-la-la-la-la, tra-la-la-la-la. I was hanging from my favorite tree, singing happily to the birds when, hey, I was ambushed. By a terrible beast. <gasps> Growls. She growled at me and tied me up and carried me off to her secret lair. She made me disgustingly clean. Gross. Oh. And she dressed me up in a ridiculous hat and sweater and tried to make me eat squirrel food. Ugh. She kept me in a tiny box with nothing for me to do and nowhere for me to hang from. Oh. She made me walk backwards and forwards and then backwards again for no reason whatsoever. She showed me off to a you herd of even wilder her. beasts who were just as terrible as she was. I had had enough. I made a cunning plan and I put it straight into action. A plus B, A plus B equals freedom, yes. Woohoo! The deep dark woods, one mile. Free once more. I raced back to the deep dark woods before the terrible beast could catch me. Scratch, scratch. It was peaceful in the deep dark woods. 
a bit too peaceful, perhaps. Silence. And also, a bit wet. And what happened? In weather like this, uh, one could do with a nice warm hat. Mm. I snuck back to retrieve it under cover of darkness. It was raining. The terrible beast was waiting for me. Wow. She seemed quite pleased to see me. And I began to think that maybe, just maybe, mm. she wasn't that terrible after all. Oh. The end. Oh. I love this book. Me too. I chose to read this book because everybody has a different way of seeing the same thing. And that's how it is in life with everything. It's true. The way you see something is completely different than the way your friend sees something that's... or your mom sees something. Yeah. And to get to see both characters' point of view is cool. That's nice. Thank you for watching Storyline Online. And thank you. Thank you for reading for us this wonderful story. Thank you, Zara, for reading for us read this beautiful story. If you liked it, please send your message. Send your message through CISO. Thank you very much and see you next time for our next story. Bye-bye.